Hi, my name is Hannah Strother. Hi, my name is Sadie Chapman. Hey, my name is Matthew Taylor. Hi, my name is Patricia Perry. <laughs> Hi, my name is Daniel Nuria. Uh, first, I want to thank you all for joining me today to listen to my presentation about the acquisition of Whole Foods by Amazon. Um, today, we're going to be discussing how did the deal work out. So, Amazon purchased Whole Foods last year. Um, they initially placed a bid for $13.4 billion. Since no other bids were placed, they did win. Um, there wasn't exactly a bidding war. And there was a lot of speculation whether this price was fair, you know, what was Amazon's intentions with Whole Foods, because that's not exactly their line of business. So their motive for purchasing Whole Foods. They saw that grocery sales annually total 700 to 800 billion dollars a year. This means that there's this huge market of people looking for fresh food, produce, um, a myriad of things that Amazon couldn't currently offer. They wanted that physical presence of the a mortar store where they could easily access people. So there are still people, mostly an older generation that doesn't use technology as much. So Amazon wasn't able to cater to their needs, but if they had a brick and mortar store, then they could do so. So hence acquiring Whole Foods, they would be able to offer services. Um, they had previously tried a delivery service of fresh foods where they would package, um, they did meats and produce and vegetables. There were a lot of complaints that this stuff was spoiled, they were sending moldy products. Um, the, the shipping and packaging to do the fresh produce was very costly. It cost a lot more to send uh, packages like this that are insulated and kept things fresh and they still weren't working. So it was basically a failed business endeavor and they wanted to improve their current services. So by having the physical presence, they would be able to uh, implement like returns to the store of Amazon products. So they were actually making it easier for their customers to shop on Amazon and then return it to Whole Foods and buy some Amazon products in the store. So the problems were that the shareholders were concerned about the price. They thought that Whole Foods should be worth a lot more than Amazon was offering to pay for it. Um, Johnson & Weaver LLP investigated this and although they did agree that the price was extremely low, there were no other bids placed. So there's nothing they could really do to control this and Amazon was able to purchase Whole Foods. So. Was their acquisition a success or a failure? Amazon sales accounted for 3.5% of grocery sales last year. That still trails behind the top four significantly, like Walmart and Sam's Clubs accounted for like 15%. They were the number one grocery sales last year. Um, but still 3.5 out of the seven to 800 billion dollars is still a sizable amount. It's about what Whole Foods has been averaging per year. So they did profit. Um, they got it at a favorable buying price since there was no bidding war. They were able to get it at a price that they felt was fair. And they also got to expand their services without having to actually build sto uh, physical stores. So ultimately, I feel like they came out ahead. It was a success. They did very well. The changes that they implemented in the Whole Foods stores is they introduced these Amazon lockers and that is where they can bring returns and like so you order something online, you don't like it, it doesn't fit, it doesn't work, you fill out a paper, you bring it to the Amazon locker, it gets locked in there and someone comes to pick it up. You don't have to pay for shipping, you don't have to pay for any of that, hassle free. And it's at your local convenience or local Whole Foods stores, much more convenient. Um, as well as people that live like in apartment complexes or you know out in the country where they don't have an easily accessible mailbox or delivery address they can get their items shipped to the locker and then they would you know bring their paper in and show that that's theirs and they would be able to collect it um, another perk is discounts for Amazon Prime members so if you're an Amazon Prime member for like $99 a month you can get perks and discounts within the store 
on the Whole Foods item, so groceries, you need a discount on groceries. Um, they also have implemented higher entry barriers for small businesses. So Whole Foods is kind of known for its organic, freshly grown things. Um, small businesses like, you know, local honey and fresh produce from, you know, a local garden or farm. And Amazon's kind of phased that out. They're centralizing everything into a, an office in Texas. So everything has to be approved by this office. This means that a representative from the local farm or whatever cannot just come to the store and ask, hey, you know, can I speak to your regional manager? I'd like to put my products in your store. They'd have to talk to the people in Texas. And it's much more complicated for smaller businesses now because they don't have those kind of resources. Um, and there's also more internal control because the businesses that are able to sell within the store were before able to control like their advertising and their their displays and now again that's all centralized and controlled by a headquarters rather than freely so there are a few slight changes um, nothing major yet it's only been a year since the acquisition it was last June however um, Amazon is trying to basically use Whole Foods as an ends to their mean of becoming the largest e-commerce and just dominating the whole market, grocery, um, technology, everything. And as it stands, they're not close to being number one in the grocery sales game, but it is very possible that they will be in the future. So Thank does you. anybody have any questions? I would like to know if we have any of these stores near here. Yes, ma'am. So the closest one is going to be in Lafayette, actually. So they're not completely accessible for us yet. Um, but if you don't mind the hour drive, it is still a better option than, you know, you know $20 shipping sometimes if you had to return something. So it's still kind of a, a fair deal. Anybody else? Yes. Yes, ma'am. How many are there in the United States? Um, so there are actually 494 stores, and that's globally. Um, I'm not really sure how many there are within the United States itself. However, they do have regional efforts they do um, to help like with water conservation, because Whole Foods is known, like I said, for its organic and natural and locally raised products. So it does try and give back to the communities, um, and it does this on a global scale. Anybody else? Well, I appreciate y'all coming out. Thank you.